So we'll continue to the next steps. We sub so we'll continue to do constraint constraints between this piston and con rod. Okay, so this uh, piston hole should be aligned with the smaller con rod. So we'll click constraint constraint. select this con rod and we will go almost to this hollow if you cannot select it zoom in I will select this hole over your mouse on this area Okay, so it is now selected and this holds with these areas. We have two, this is the longer shaft and this is another one, this shorter shaft. So we need to select this shorter shaft. So again, we return to Katia, move this center click constraint constraints click this area and this shaft okay, let me rotate this I can rotate this use this compass bring it to the center zoom in so select this area not this so select this area Let's fit all in. Then update. So we, as we can see what we have done, this con rod is aligned to this bottom part, while this con rod is aligned to this hole. Let's continue to next page. Select tool offset constraint and choose con rod left side and inner left con rod. Insert 2 mm offset in the offset box. At the end, press up the all button again. So it is a repeating process. So let's select this offset constraint and this area. We will select the other side of this crankshaft this area so a window of constant property will pop up then it gives us option what's the offsets we insert 2mm click ok so we need to click update So now we can see that the con rod is moving in. Then we can see that our part is similar to this image. Next is pin and piston. Again, we'll do constant constraint and then we use offset to offset between this face and this face Let's return to Katia V5 you can see this is our pin so we need put we need to arrange this to be inside there click press the constraint then select the first thematical element which is this one this is the pin and also this area 
hover your mouse here and it's actually show click then we'll update before we do the offset concern as we can see this pin are now aligned to this hole next we put in in select offset constraint we need to set this offset to zero click this surface and click this surface but my mouse cannot detect this the surface let's zoom in and click this area so let's put in zero for the offset Click OK. Update. So now the pin is inside the piston. Let's continue to the sheets. Congratulations, we have completed one buff. Let's look at our buff. Okay, so it is completed. To com with good score to com uh, step number 11 to complete other three buff we can either reduce step one to insert part that is by inserting part using the insert part icon or we also can copy and paste the parts into part three let us try to copy and paste one more piston right click on the piston and select copy then right click on the four buff engine and select paste piston pointer is inserted into part 3 go to piston copy select power of engine and paste so we have piston point 2 at the same position as piston point 1 into the next page so using compass this is compass this compass can be used for many between views and parts which is axis you can translate it by using the axis by selecting this vertical line and drag it upwards or downwards while this lines can be translated by y axis this is the axis and this is the x axis so while to rotate you can select this curve and do rotation around the axis while this one is y axis and this one is x axis you can see so this is the compass position locations so you can move the views and also we also can rotate it Okay, you can set the view to isometric so now we want to use this compass to move the piston so how you can do this left click your mouse to the red point of the compass and drag it to the piston part you can see that piston point 2 is highlighted and the compass turn green that's mean you can manipulate piston point two part now drag it along y axis to separate it from position one so we want to um, move the piston to the right by using compass let's return to our Katia v5 so this is our compass it has red dot at the center move your mouse on top of the red dot click and it has shown a hand that like is holding something so hold that and drag this compass to your piston so we can see now piston 2 is highlighted so if it is not highlighted on piston 2 like I select to piston 1 so it will later it will move piston 1 so you can select piston point 2 and make sure it is highlighted and it is turn green 
this means it is it will move the piston point to you can see if I didn't click any parts in the cartel false the compass is now turned to gray so it will not move any of the parts although we move this compass so let's select piston point 2 the one that we have paste in the file previously select that will hide we turn the compass into green color so now i want to move to the right i will click this y axis line dragging to the right will move the compass and also the piston point to the right so release the mouse so it will now move it is has it have moved to the right locations it is similar to this image redo previous step to insert two more piston that is piston point three and piston point four then highlight piston point three under the part three and drag the compass in the y-axis so we need to copy paste two more pistons okay let's copy piston point two so that the position will become will be at position piston point two copy and right click paste so let's highlight piston point three where we can move it here and again we paste one more piston paste so piston point four is at the location of piston point two and it is highlighted so i can move it as the compass now is in, in green color so i can click and move this more to the right so we can see here this is piston point two piston point three and piston point four so we return to the workbook so you can see it is similar to this image after we have finished using the compass select the red point and move it to the background so that it will automatically place to its original point so we need to return the compass to its original position so as i've seen i've done before i just i have clicked and move it so now i want to repeat the steps so this is the compass it is highlighted on piston 4 how to return it just hover your mouse to the red color dots click and put it and left it anywhere so now it is returned to the original position let's return to our workbook so this is step where we want to do a multi instantiation we start show you how to repeat component as many times as you wish in the direction of your choice previously we used copy paste but now we will use multi instantiation first select the component you wish to instantiate that is control secondly click the define multi instantiation icon so the multi instantiation dialog box is displayed indicating the name of the component to be instantiated so we we select control and find multi instantiation icon our control is here either you can select here or we can select here and let's find our multi instantiation icon so we have two fast multi instantiation and define multi instantiation we we'll select define multi instantiation okay so a window of multi instantiation appeared the parameter option lets you choose between the following categories of parameters to define instant and spacing, instant and length, spacing and length, keep the instance and spacing parameter option and enter 3 as the number of instances and 19mm as the value for the spacing between each component. So we click 3 and 100 for instant and spacing. So now it is instant and spacing 3 and 100. Like.